Hi, today I'm going to explain you the differences in the phenotype according to the different rootstock used in plants. As an example, I have a pretty plant of Turbinicarpus schmidicianus subspecies polaski. I am going to show you three different plants, all with the origin uh, west of La Bonita. This very first plant also the biggest one I'm going to show you is plant grafted on a very vigorous rootstock. What do we get as an effect? A large plant offsetting, which is normally unusual for this species forming offsets. This one is offsetting quite quite a lot now. I have to mention this plant is uh, over 25 years old, so um, it has grown quite some years. The second plant I'm going to show you, this one has been in my possession for 10 years. It was quite a big plant, so it's quite old as well. This one has been grafted in a very slow growing rootstock. You see the plant is much more compact, has longer spines and is not branched. To finish, this plant has 15 years from seed. It's never been grafted, it's on its own roots. This is by far the smallest plants. They're all in more or less the same pot size, you see? So a vigorous rootstock gives you a faster growing, bigger plant with shorter spines in general, more, more bloated appearance. Short growing rootstock has much better, much longer spines. On its own roots, you get the, more, the most compact plants, and let's say the, the plant appearance is most close to what we see in the plant description. If you would compare this one and this one, without the label or known origins, you would never judge if you're speaking about the same species. The difference is the rootstock. Thanks for your listening. See you next time.